Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. Also guys, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server for real-time stock picks to trade with me and thousands of other investors live. We talk AMC, we trade options, and much, much more. So go to the first link in my description and join our private exclusive Discord server. Next up, we do have a new article to go through, and this one is decently shocking. China's Evergrande debt woes could spill over to the U.S., the Fed says. The U.S. Federal Reserve has warned that stresses in the Chinese real estate sector from Evergrande's debt crisis could spill into the U.S. In September, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said there was not a lot of direct United States exposure from Evergrande crisis. Evergrande is now the world's most indebted company with $300 billion debt pile. The U.S. Reserve warned that stresses in the Chinese real estate sector from Evergrande could spill over to the U.S. In its financial stability report released on Monday, the Fed warned of high leverage at financial institutions and stretched real estate valuations in China. The ongoing regulatory focus on leveraged institutions has the potential to stress some highly indebted corporations, as exemplified by the recent concerns around China's Evergrande Group, said the Fed in its report. Such stresses could spread to the Chinese financial system through spillover to financial firms. A sudden correction in real estate or reduced investor risk appetite, said the Fed, Given the size of China's economy and financial system, as well as extensive trade linkages with the rest of the world, financial stresses in China could strain global financial markets through the deterioration of risk sediments, pose risks to global economic growth, and also affect the U.S., the central bank added. Real estate China Evergrande is now the world's most indebted company with over $300 million to pay off. It has managed to pay off several overdue coupons just in time, averting a default that could send the rest of the sector and possibly the rest of the world into a massive crisis. Guys, it's getting serious. We do have the Fed now stepping in and saying that, yeah, things in fact could get bad in the U.S. For a while there, they were saying that it's sort of a controlled environment that, yeah, things are bad for Evergrande, but it's kind of controlled. But now with this, the Fed is saying that different institutions are highly leveraged, which we've known for a while, which we've been talking about for a while. The fact of the matter is, is that these highly leveraged institutions own stock along with short positions of AMC. If their overall portfolio drops, they could see margin calls across the board and be forced to close out their positions of AMC, which they're short in, which in fact would send AMC to the moon. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.